Guys, there's a movie coming out from the uh, one of the writers of Independence Day, uh, Dean Devlin. Um, it's called Geostorm, and we're going to watch the trailer right now, and you guys are going to be so f***ing excited. Let's do it. Look at this. All right, so there's some some lightning in the future. In the future. Very deceptive because the movie Life is coming out, and it looks like we're about to see the trailer for Life, a potentially much for better potentially film. Potentially a better yeah. film. And, the, and then they're like, no, weather machine. Sorry. <laughs> Like, there's a satellite that, that shoots bombs into clouds and then weather happens, which, that's, I'm not like a scientist, but that doesn't seem right. Is that X2? Uh, <laughs> probably. Is X2? All the, all the like, tornadoes. Literally like drop tornadoes? Yeah, the... yeah, it's, it's precision tornadoes. Uh, this looks like it's from the producer of Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they just keep making the same. They literally movie. have the shot of the, like, from the car, from the back seat, and then two people in the front row turning around mm -hmm. at the disaster behind them. Yeah. Are you sure it's not a super cut of all disaster movies? We spent 15 years making every disaster movie, and then someone's like, let's do that again, but all at once. That was a giant snowball? Yeah, it crushed a bus in half. Yeah, That's and flew right through that umbrella. Oh, wait a minute. Like, they is just, that supposed to be hail? <laughs> <laughs> giant snowball? They just showed the weather station blow up, so we... We they know did. it blows that's, up. We did it. Like yeah. <laughs> they, they solved, they solved. The I assume Gerard oh, Butler will heroically be inside that thing when it explodes. Oh, man. Okay, so the premise of the movie is that there's a, a, a space station that controls the weather because sure. we needed that in the future, and now it's gone rogue, apparently, and just really just shitting on the world with, with weather. It's gone rogue? Sounds Which is good. more or less the plot of the core, which was that we made an earthquake machine that went... Sure. Went bad and stopped the core of the Earth from spinning. Why do we make an earthquake machine? I assume it was the same thought process for the weather machine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why not make a weather? But machine? like, at least a weather machine is like, okay, it's too, it's too hot. We need it like nice and chilly, or like, or like, or like a drought. Yeah, there's, like there are things. But like an earthquake machine, what does that get us? Also, why would we make a weather machine that would create natural disasters? Like, right? None of this is, I guess, yes, weather, but it's but like, the worst of, kind of yeah, weather. Yeah, it's like the. Worst! Assassin, yeah. tornadoes. Hail that goes through umbrellas. Giant hail. This movie kind of looks like the 90s, right? Because was, that was like the time when we were really obsessed with the Independence Day guys, and we were just having them make the same movie as just like a vaguely different disaster each right. time. Like How many things Day, can blow up? Godzilla, Day After Tomorrow, 2012. And now this is all of them, except for maybe an atomic monster or aliens, although we can't rule them out, because space is featured heavily. On the subject of it being old, we should talk about the fact that it was made in 2014. Mm. That's not um, this year or last yeah, year or the this, year before that. Yeah, <laughs> They shot it in 2014, it went to test audiences, and they who apparently hated it. Not enough weather. Yeah, not yeah, enough weather. More weather. That's a good guess. Yeah. And so they did $15 million in reshoots and got, they, they didn't have the original director, so they got the director of Judge Dredd, the 95 Judge Dredd, not the new one, not, not the good not the one. Good one. <laughs> they That's got the such old... an appropriate switch. Yeah. <laughs> so they made this movie and they didn't like it. So they did reshoots for a year and this was supposed to come out last March and they needed to fix it. So instead they threw in Batman versus Superman on the day that this was supposed to come out. Yes. So they were like, Batman versus Superman is ready. <laughs> We need more time with this Geostorm film. Right. You can't you can't keep correcting a masterpiece or else you're going to ruin it eventually. There's there's a you know Da Vinci new one to step back and say this is done. Maybe they should have just had Geostorm come out and people not like it. And then you wait on Batman versus Superman and then because you did that, you can wait on Suicide Squad. Right. And fix that movie. And it also softens the blow. It's like if you're giving someone a gift and you know they won't like it, you kick them in the balls first <laughs> with Geostorm, and then you hand them Batman versus Superman. They're like, God, at least it's not Geostorm. At least it's not Geostorm. Right? At least it's not Batman yeah. v Superman colon Geostorm. Exactly. Yeah. At least it's not a man oh, punching me in the chest and why making is me watch it? I Geostorm. totally watched that movie. <laughs> yeah, why didn't they just Batman versus Superman versus Geostorm? It would make way more sense as a Lex Luthor plot. Like, yeah. Lex Luthor built a space station to destroy the weather rather than just we made one and now <laughs> it's mad. There's also a B plot where the president is going to be assassinated. They uncover a plot to assassinate the president. The geostorm is incidental to the presidential <laughs> assassination. 
<laughs> it's extremely possible. Or they're using the Geostorm to assassinate the president. Or they're using the Geostorm to cover up the assassination. Oh, I like that. Like a big distraction. I don't love it, though. I mean, it's all just generic disaster anyway. Yeah. It's right. just this is 90, 98 personified. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is the GoBots of 90s disaster movies. Yeah. Well, I'm going to see it twice. Oh, of course. I'm going to hate it both times. Mm -hmm. Hey, you like stand-up? Come see the Cracked Stand-Up Show. It's happening March 23rd at Meltdown Comics in Los Angeles. If you want to see amazing stand-up comedians, including our own Tom Ryman, go to nerdmeltla.com slash tickets. And if you want to see me without a shirt on, you're rude. <laughs>